The idea of writing a biography on Omar Bradley really came at me from uh, left field. Um, I had just finished working on Rangers at the F, and I was kind of hunting around for another story, doing a little bit of uh, research, trying to find um, something I could really kind of develop as a book. And uh, I realized somewhere in the, in the middle of that process that no one had ever done a biography of Omar Bradley. And uh, I was just shocked. Um, as a matter of fact, I thought it was pretty much a big injustice. I mean, here was one of the most important generals of World War II, and no one had bothered to take the time and the effort to uh, look at his life critically, uh, talking about his achievements and, um, you know, and some of uh, his failures as well. But um, it, it took me a while before I convinced myself that I was really going to be up to the task. One of the things that really kind of helped me uh, make up my mind to go ahead and do the Bradley book uh, was the fact that, um, well, there's, there's two different places where you can get Bradley's papers or can look at you know, quite a depository of, of Omar Bradley. One is at Carlisle. Pennsylvania. And the other uh, happens to be at West Point. And I was very familiar with West Point, with the archives there, with the people there. And um, it happens to be very close to us. And that really kind of made it possible to, to work on the book. My wife actually did a lot of the research. And she spent, <laughs> she spent a lot of time there, um, probably upwards of two years, uh, going through every piece of paper there. Obviously, we did other research, but if it weren't for West Point, I probably couldn't have gotten this done. I, I think Bradley's been overlooked mostly because he wasn't very flashy like Patton, say, or Montgomery. Uh, but in a lot of ways, he's the indispensable American general in that war. Uh, without him, Eisenhower really has nobody to balance uh, against Montgomery. Patton, <laughs> Patton probably gets in a lot more trouble than he actually did, you know, get into trouble. Um, you know, th there's a lot of things that kind of fall apart without Bradley in the middle there. I hope my book gets more people interested in Omar Bradley. Um, if nothing else, his career is uh, an illustration of how effective quiet leadership can be. And uh, to be honest, I think we could all use a little bit more of that right now.